How old was he when you moved? 13. Yeah, because this was that. his life, right? I mean, you know, yes. he's, he looks like a happy kid. He's hanging out, he's playing in the snow, fishing, turtles, big yes. smile, puppies. I mean, this is what you want, right? right. And then he enjoyed every bit of it. He, he was always social, ran around our neighborhood, played with all the children. Then you guys moved. Yes. Correct. Okay, and, and concurrent with the move, soon after we start to see pictures like this. Our lives are being turned upside down by our 15-year-old son, Dawson. Dawson has gone from a preppy style child, wearing boats, shoes, preppy clothes, and now he's trying to be gangster. Dawson is dangerous and he's completely out of control. Soon after we moved, Dawson started hanging around with to say the least, the, the wrong crowd. If you ask me, it's a bunch of thugs. Dawson will get an attitude and call me his bra, and I'm his mother. He started getting into trouble. Dawson was caught distributing pot at school. He was expelled. Dawson and his friends were caught giving pills to a girl at the local skating rink. Next thing I knew, the police were at our front door bringing Dawson home that night. I was furious. Dawson's become really fascinated with guns. When you look at his social media page, it's full of him with guns and drugs. Now, Dawson's been running away. Just a few weeks ago, Dawson disappeared. We contacted the police. The local news even ran stories to be on the lookout for him. Berkeley County deputies need your help to find a 15-year-old runaway. The sheriff's office says Dawson was last seen Monday morning. After six days, the police did find Dawson. Dawson refused to come back home with us. Dawson said he wanted to stay with his dad's sister, his Aunt Abby. He was at my sister's house for four days, and he took her van and took off. He picked up a 13-year-old girlfriend. He was driving 110 miles an hour down the road and posting it to social media. We were able to track him down. Now Dawson is back home. Our house is basically turned into a prison. Dawson's staying in the house pretty much seven days a week, 24 hours a day. We've added extra security sensors and cameras. We're just watching his every move. We even purchased cuffs to keep him in the house. We haven't used them yet. Now when I look at my son Dawson, I just don't know what to think. I'm afraid he's lost. My biggest fear is he's going to end up in jail or end up dead. Okay, guys, can we just jump right in here? Yes, sir. We're talking about your son. Absolutely. Robin and I raised two boys, so I, I relate to these boys and all the things that they can get into and all the temptations that are out there for them. Are, are you truly surprised? Did this just come out of the blue? I'm very surprised. Austin has always been, I mean, he's always been on the mischievous side, but it did seem like as soon as we moved, the legal stuff started happening. I had no idea he was interested in any criminal activity. Well, how old was he when you moved? 13. Yeah, because this was that. his life, right? I mean, you know, yes. he's, he looks like a happy kid. He's hanging out, he's playing in the snow, fishing, turtles, big yes. smile, puppies. I mean, this is what you want, right? right. And then he enjoyed every bit of it. He, he was always social ran around our neighborhood, played with all the children. Then you guys moved. Yes. Correct. Okay, and, and concurrent with the move, soon after we start to see pictures like this. Correct. These all came to light in the last month and a half where when he ran away the first time and we really started digging and trying to find him, talking with any friends he'd communicated with, uh, he actually started talking with his aunt. So we were able to get some of these images and it was, it was shock. It was. Why were you getting from them? Were you not following him on he blocked well, his him. social media platforms? Not on the Snapchat. He has fake names. We don't know the names of it, so he changes his name into these strange names so he doesn't allow us to be. My husband's not on social media, and I'm only on Facebook. Okay, let's start making a list. That's your okay. first mistake, okay? Correct. 